Over the past decade, it's been pretty well documented how chaotic some things are at Lucasfilm under the leadership of Kathleen Kennedy, especially when you look at some of these projects that get announced. Directors get fired, writers get fired, just this cycle of people that are constantly getting hired and fired from Lucasfilm as their projects don't get made. Well, one of those people is Damon Lindelof, the writer who was supposed to be on the Ray movie, who wrote the entire movie that Lucasfilm said, you know what, we don't like this, go fuck yourself, we're going to hire somebody else. We talked about that a few months ago. I'm not a big Damon Lindelof fan. I don't like what he did with Star Trek. I'm not a huge fan of some of his other things that he's done, especially that garbage Watchmen TV series. But, of course, being on things like Lost, being connected to J.J. Abrams, Damon Lindelof always gets opportunities in Hollywood. But he got fired from this Star Wars movie. He confirmed that he was asked to leave. And, you know, up until now, he's been pretty civil about it. He's said, you know, I'd come back if they asked me to. Well, now that a strike is ongoing between the writers and the studios, all bets are off the table and apparently the gloves are off. Damon Lindelof throws shaded Star Wars after departure from the Ray movie. It was not just him that was supposed to write this movie. It was him and another writer, Justin Britt Gibson. They have been on the picket lines, guys. They're just suffering writers. Keep in mind, Damon Lindelof, while, you know, pretending that he's out there striking, we got to do what we deserve. Damon Lindelof has an estimated net worth somewhere between 35 and 45 Five million dollars. So keep that in mind when you see him on the picket lines. But nevertheless, he certainly said things yesterday that caught people's eye. Picketing Disney is more fun than writing a Star Wars movie. Scribes mark a hundred days of the strike. And yes, it's now been a hundred days that the writers have been on strike, and Disney seems to have been catching the brunt of this. Bob Iger, very specifically, and all the different studios at Disney, they are catching maybe more heat than any other studio for what's going on right now. And so, when both of them, the fired Disney writers, fired from Lucasfilm on the Ray movie, Damon Lindelof and Justin Britt Gibson, they came out, they had a couple things to say about striking, about all this. We'll play, I'll play about the last 45 seconds of it or so. The beginning just... Hey, we're glad to be here, standing with our brothers. We got to get what we deserve, stuff like that. Sitting here saying, well, you know, every, it's hard for everybody. We all know that. But at the end of the day, like, we're in this fight for the long haul. We're going to get what we need to get. You know? We're a little jealous about sex, too. We're a little bit broken. We're going to get what we need to get. Now, this is Justin Britt Gibson. This is Damon Lindelof complaining about the they don't have cool T-shirts. But this is the line coming up here that people were all uh, pretty much laughing about. We could have. We could have. But no, this is this is a great day. You know, as, as hard as it is, and my heart goes out to everyone who's been losing their homes and having to take second jobs and doing all the things that they have to do to support their family. But, but this is not, this will not be done in vain. This will be done so we have a better future for writers, for actors, for everybody out here on the line. It is just... It's wild to me that this, the strike's going on and you've got writers that are not getting work, writers that are losing money. As the studios are also losing money, Disney posted a half billion dollar loss over the last quarter. Uh, probably the worst time possible for them to strike, but nevertheless, they did it anyway and it's probably going to give the studios exactly what they want. Thank you, guys. And Justin and I wrote a Star Wars movie together. Yeah, we did. Picketing Disney is more fun. Oh, than it's Wars a delight. Movie. I will say that. <laughs> strike the Empire back, baby. Picketing Disney is more fun than writing a Star Wars movie. I believe that. I believe that standing outside Disney with your signs pretending like you're fucking oppressed when you're worth $40 million, Damon Lindelof, I do believe that that's more fun than writing a dog shit Star Wars movie that your buddy J.J. Abrams probably got you in the door at Lucasfilm, the chaos behind the scenes, Kathleen Kennedy running Disney Star Wars. I actually do believe that standing out there for about an hour a day pretending like you care about all these people who are losing their jobs is more fun than writing a Star Wars movie. That obviously is a line that's going to get out there and go around. Just another embarrassment for Disney and Lucasfilm throughout this entire thing. But yeah, this, this whole strike has not been a good look when it comes to Disney, specifically after Bob Iger's comments. He tried in the quarterly earnings call to walk those things back and say he's committed to ending the strikes. But I think that from all sides right now, Disney's being attacked. From the audience who despises what they're putting out to the actors and writers that are on strike and don't like Disney's business practices. But what do you think about the comment and the jab itself that picketing Disney is more fun than writing a Star Wars movie? I believe that is probably the case. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. 